So what we're going to use to make the Tree of Life pendant is you're going to need 28 gauge um, using copper. You're going to need 20 gauge. Again, here it is, 20 gauge. Again, this is bare copper. You're going to use a round nose plier. You're going to need a chain nose plier. You're going to need a, I guess this is called a flush cutter. And you could use anything round, but I like this. This is a ring mandrel. I like it because you have different sizes that you could kind of measure out. Like if I've been making a lot of 12, uh, 12, the size 12 rounds. Like I'll show you what a round looks like. We're going to be making these. These are, um, I guess, round blanks. You could even buy them, but I, I like this. I saw a technique on YouTube. You can find a lot of different techniques on YouTube. Um, on how to make the tree of life but I saw how to do this and I actually liked it a lot and um, and that's you know like I said I've been well this is a little bit bigger I actually used the bottom I used the 14 and a half size but most of the time I either use 12 or 13 I make them a little bit smaller and I'm going to show you how to do that so if you are interested in making the tree of life pendant just tune in stay tuned so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a length of wire, of the 20 gauge wire, and I'm going to measure, I'm going to probably do one 12 and a half. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a good piece like that. I don't have a, a ruler to measure exactly the size I need. But, but, so I guess it's, this is the size I'm making. And what you do is you want to just go like this. You're going to make a circle. There you go. So you have your, your piece around there and you have your circle. So what you're going to do is you're going to take it off the, the mandrel. And you're going to take your chain nose pliers and you're going to put it right here. And what you're going to do is you're going to bend up one of the sides like that. And then you're going to go next to it like that and you're going to bend up the other side. And you have your piece like that. So now we're going to work on making a bell. So you're going to straighten this out. And then you're going to take, again, you're going to take your chain nose pliers right here, right in the front, and you're just going to bend this towards you, this wire right here. So that's, it looks like there's a little bend right there like that. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take your round nose pliers and you're just going to sit it like that because you're going to make a bend around to make the, the bail. So you're going to just take, take it like that, take it around. Like that. So see how that looks. You just bend it around. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take the, the bottom part, the tail, and you're just going to bend it up a little bit. This part here. You're just going to make a little bend up. Like that. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take your flush cutters and you're just going to cut the tail off. You're going to do it oh, not past that circle. You want it to be above that, like so. See how I cut that right there? And then what you want to do is you want to bring this closer. You're, bring these, you're going to kind of close this gap. So you want to take that and you just want to bring it to, to close that on that side. And to close it on that side, just like that. Bring it close like that. And then what we're going to do is you're going to cut a nice little length, not too much, maybe a couple of inches here of the 28 gauge wire. I would say this is a good length. Again, I don't have my ruler, I'm sorry. So what you're going to do is you're going to 
wrap this around neatly. You're going to take your piece here and you're going to just do a nice neat little wrap. And you do it a couple of times. And go ahead and do the bottom part a couple of times. And that looks pretty good. And you could adjust this later. Right now we're just kind of putting it together. So what you do is you bring your chain nose pliers. You just want to tighten that a little bit better. You want to cut it. And then you want to tuck it. You want to tuck that that in so that you don't get poked later. So you tuck that in, get that in there nice and tight, and then you can go ahead and adjust it. And how I like to adjust it, I like to open it up like that. So now we have our blank. Now the fun begins. And what we're going to do is we're going to take, again, your 28 gauge wire, and you're going to cut eight strips and how I measure it is I, I usually take my blank and I like it to be double the size of the, the piece so here's one two so I'm going to cut eight of these and the magic of video I already cut them <laughs> So what you would do is you would use this as your template and then just cut all the pieces. So here I have my eight pieces and now our creativity comes at play. So what you want to do is you could either fold them all like this to get them ready. Because what you're going to do is you're going to wrap them around one at a time. So you're just going to take this and you're going to wrap it around. It doesn't have to be neat, very neat, just like about two or three times around. So here we go, I did it two times around. If you have nails, you can just pinch them. I don't have nails, so I just take my flat nose or my chain nose and I, and I pull them together like this. So they're nice and, and I can still, I can move it around, but right now, because they're gonna eventually, we're making the roots right now of the tray and, um, and we're gonna bring them all down here. So it doesn't really matter where you um, put them on. You just want to be able to move them around. So here we go. So we're just going to go ahead and we're going to wrap them all around. So that's three times like that. Get my chain nose. Close it tight. Bring them together. So that's two. So I'm going to continue this until I get all eight on and I'll be right back and I'll show you what we're going to work on next. Okay, here we are. We have them all eight of these um, strands here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the root. So what you do is you just take your piece like this. You could either use it with pliers or your fingers. It doesn't matter. And you just want to make a couple of twists because we're going to make the trunk. So you're going to take this like this, and you can take a look at the, the root, so far that looks good. And you're just going to twist it a couple of times, a few more times to get that trunk in there. And I think I'm going to do it with my um, flat nose. You either use the uh, chain nose or your flat nose to just get in here, and you just want to give it a couple of good twists. I think that looks good. You're going to see how that looks. That's your tree right there. You can give it a bend if you'd like. If you want to bend it, like how a tree looks. This is where your creativity comes in. And then what you do is I take, I take them the the leaves or the, the branches and I separate them in in groups of two. And again, this is where you get creative because you could do them in groups of two, you could do them in groups of three, depending on how you want your branches to look. I'm just going to spread them out in groups of two. And 
And you can make your tree look however you want it to look. I mean, it's up to you. So this is kind of where I'm going right now, I guess. And at this point, you could even add beads if you'd like. You could have, you can make the 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 like whatever bead you want. I usually use um, Swarovski crystal, um, like round beads or bicones, whatever you really have. You could use chips. So here we go. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to now take again either your chain nose or your flat nose, and I'm just going to twist these a little bit. I'm going to do it like two or three two or three twists. That's one, two. Now I want to leave space because I'm, I'm going. This is the, going to be the branch, so it's a little bit of a twist here. So you're going to do, twist them all, like like I said, two or three times. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do all of them, and I'll be right back. Okay, now that I gave them all a little twist. See how they're each of them have a little twisted. What I'm gonna do, see, I like my tree full, that's why it looks like this. Um, again, you can watch other videos on how to make the tree of life, and there's so many different techniques out there. Um, so far, I really like this one the best. And um, what I do is I, I like to give it a little character, and then I take my chain nose and I kind of bend. The branches a little bit or the, I guess these are the leaves and I just kind of give it a little zigzag kind of thing a little zigzag on each one like this and again at this point if you had beads you can add beads to it but I like to just do this so it kind of adds a little character to it just go around the whole whole piece like that, just making a zigzag. You can do it by hand if you'd like. I find it easier to do with the, the tool. And that's pretty much your tree. And then what you're going to do is you're going to start, it doesn't matter if you start on the bottom or on the top, I guess I could start at the bottom and what you're going to do is you're just going to take your you're going to take your wire and you're just going to wrap you're going to pull you're going to wrap it around a couple of times do like two times maybe three depending on how tight you want it I think that that's pretty good and I don't clip it yet I leave that there in case I need to make adjustments later so I kind of leave that like that for now and that's really all I do I mean I just go ahead and I just take your you, know, you just take your the wires and you just want to wrap it around nice and tight again two or three times around and again you can do it with your fingers I like to do it with this because it's I don't know it seems easier I could just I could tuck it in I think I have fat fingers <laughs> so I, I think this is uh, easier for me to grab and that's really what you need to do so just keep doing this go around the whole piece All right, I'll be right back when I'm all done. All right, so I wrap them all around. And at this point, this is where you want to kind of make all your adjustments. Just make sure everything is nice and tight. <clears throat> so go ahead and just adjust everything, bring them closer, do what you need to do to get it nice and, and tight. And then you turn it around and you want to take your uh, flush cutters and you just want to cut them. Cut each little off and then you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna you're gonna um, tuck the wire so that it doesn't poke you later so like this and then you just take your um, again I guess your flat nose or chain nose and you just want to just go around and tuck each, you know, feel it, see if it's poking out. If it's poking out, just go ahead and bring it down. Squeeze each, each piece here. And 
first one. Okay, that feels good. And then you go over here, back over here and you want to adjust you want to adjust this better, get that in, tucked in there nice. And at this point, you could still kind of move it around a little bit. It's not as tight, I mean, but it's not going anywhere. And then you want to adjust your bail. So you go ahead and straighten it out, open it up, and that's it. And there's your pendant. Okay, you can do, you know, as many adjustments as you need. And this is it. Here's your Tree of Life pendant. It's very pretty. You can put it on a chain. You can put it on a cord. Whatever you would like. That's it. I hope you liked this video. Hopefully if it was helpful and you were able to follow along. If you have any questions, just, um, yeah, just let me know. Have a great day.